time to get up. camera well hello guys what are you guys doing you spying on me or what who put that camera there come on guys this is the show before we start our day man what are you guys doing huh I'm just getting up here I'm not even uh, you know Properly getting up here and you're watching me already like what is going on today? Anyways, good morning everyone. I guess we will get out of bed and uh, Start our day This is the way we usually start our day as the trucker Rudy and I figured I would show you guys a little bit of something real cool up here. Have a look at this uh, menu we got up here. Well, isn't that something really cool? That's actually where we are at right now and hey we're having a good coffee. Oh yeah I was in here last night already late last night so it's breakfast time. So we already ordered so we will wait for that and then we'll be back alrighty guys we are ready for breakfast we just got our meal oh yeah we got a double taste of toast these guys are really trucker friendly up here that's for sure so we'll get to eat and we'll be back here we go guys we are leaving the truck stop just getting back onto the big roads up here so we will be going through Ottawa today I don't know if I've ever shown Ottawa yet so I am extremely excited and uh, there are a couple of reasons I'm not going to say right now what one of the reasons is but one reason is on this road for 51 kilometers. That Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. For those of you in the United States or in other countries that do not know, Ottawa is the capital city where our Prime Minister lives or resides to do business. I guess to rule the whole uh, country but here we are back on the road had a good night's sleep had a good breakfast before we got going speed warning all right and we have some good good things happening today oh yeah oh look at that there's a waterfall right here or like a water dam Looks like the hydro dam, uh, not not as big, but looks like similar to the hydro dam that I was at there uh, a couple of weeks ago when we was fishing. Yeah, that's interesting. Anyways, we are going to have ourselves a great day today. Oh yeah. I already informed the dispatch that. Uh, uh, they wanted the load to be there at 2 o'clock and I doubted very much that I can get there by 2 maybe 4 o'clock and he says he sent me back he says they are going to wait for it so I don't know I guess we will find out but it would be nice if they did that way I can get my load off today and uh, possibly head uh, towards uh, Quebec again because uh, the way what he said yesterday to me was uh, 
you know, if I go deliver this load, he's going to get me a load from uh, from Quebec somewhere, and I know pretty much where that is. Usually, we pick up in Drummondville. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure that's where I will be going because I'm very close to that. I'm probably only maybe two hours away from that place. So uh, if I get unloaded there today, then. Uh, I could be in Drummondville tonight and then uh, pick up my load there probably possibly tomorrow morning and then uh, he said to take that to Toronto and I know usually where that load is going usually that load is going to Vermilion, South Dakota so usually that would be the case we would bring it up to Toronto terminal and then uh, another driver will take it to uh, Vermilion, South Dakota because uh, I am obviously extremely short on hours. I do have enough to uh, continue for a couple of days, but come Tuesday, it is the 14th day that I would have been on, that I will be on the road. If I uh, don't make it back by Monday night, there is a rule in Canada, a law in the, in the law book system, that on the 14th day, you have to take 24 hours off. Now many of you guys do not know this, but I've been driving for a while and it has happened to me before where it's been right on my 13th day where I've been coming home. So, And I suspect it's going to get very, very close this time too. And I'm going to try and do everything possible to avoid hitting that day because then I'm just sitting there for 24 hours there's no legal way that I can continue driving that so, so if that's the case well today is Thursday so if I can deliver this load today tomorrow is Friday then I can get into uh, Toronto possibly tomorrow night so I would have to get a load out of out of Toronto either Friday night or, or Saturday early morning Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? I, I could even leave Saturday. I would have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to get home. So, you know what? That's a good possibility I can make it home. But I figured I would mention it anyways because, uh, as I just said, lots of people do not know, they are not aware of it, that you got to take that 24 hours off. And that's where you can get yourself in trouble with the DOT. If you get inspected, you know, you are allowed to drive on your roll hour hours, but uh, once that 14 day comes, you are done. You gotta shut down for 24 hours. Anyways, enough of that. We are happy today, excited. It's a new day and it's a gorgeous day. Just a lovely, lovely day out here today. It's not windy, the grass is green, Oh yeah, we got our load and it was legal too, legal weights I'm referring to. So I don't have to worry uh, worry about it not being legal. Oh, this four-wheeler here uh, keeps slowing down, speeding up. Every time I want to go past him or get closer to him, he speeds up. So I guess we'll just stay in the right lane for now. <laughs> but anyways i was a bit afraid uh, when the driver told me that it is grass seats that uh, i would be overweight because i know that 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 is a heavy load and it said 43,000 on the paperwork and i know they are usually more than that see here he goes again he slows down again yeah, what an idiot you know oh, i shouldn't say that i take that back they're just different drivers. Some of them don't drive on cruising. You speed up, slow down. I don't want to call nobody stupid. That's not right. Anyways. So I was a little afraid that it was going to be overweight, but I am totally legal. I was 79,000 some, somewhat on the, on the scale ticket in total. I was legal on each axle, so we are in business. So let's put the hammer down and have ourselves a great, awesome day. Alrighty guys, we had ourselves a very pleasant meeting.
with a subscriber of mine. We really, really enjoyed it. And I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but uh, I'm going to see if I can release it uh, premature. Or should I say, as soon as I possibly can. Yeah. That's the goal anyways. But let's get down the road and uh, it looks like about an hour to Montreal. Hopefully the traffic is going to be good today. Keep my fingers crossed. And we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, we are coming into the area of Montreal. Not really in Montreal, but uh, I never knew that this toll highway existed up here. So we we're kind of surprised by this, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of wireless device they accept, but I'm going to ask them here if they speak English. Looks like they got some kind of different uh, system up here, so I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Alright. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's 925, please. 925? You guys don't take the easy pass, eh? No, we don't. So Alright. Be on credit card, please. Thank you. There go. Have Thank you. Is there more toll highways on the road here? Or? The only one. The only one? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. take credit cards you know but here they do got ourselves a receipt 925 yep but that's okay at least I'm bypassing the uh, real bad traffic in, uh, in Montreal at least that's what I've heard from other guys I knew that there was a toll highway going around here but I never knew exactly which highway it was and uh, now we know yeah, right after the Tobo, we got a nice lake up there. Beautiful, gorgeous. But yeah, I was looking on my map there and it kind of takes me on the south side of uh, Montreal. So JP, you're going to get real good videos this week. We are giving you some excellent bonuses for you to travel in this area and see this firsthand before you get here yes of course we love to do that for our viewers everybody gets to see this but especially you since you've been uh, planning to go here at the end of this year you said the other day on one of my videos you commented saying that you plan to head east you get the pleasure of seeing this year. first time for me oh yeah Enjoy it, because it's good. Oh yeah, here's a cop sitting right here, taking pictures. But, here we are already turning on to uh, Highway 15, southbound, going to New York 87. I-87 it is in New York, Interstate 87 it says right there on the sign. And we shall be in New York uh, probably in the next half hour. And guess what? You didn't see much of Montreal. That's because we went on the south side of Montreal. There is really nothing uh, to be seen of Montreal. That's the way I like it. Oh yeah. That's the way I love it. That way I don't hit any of them rough roads, traffic and all that good stuff up there in Montreal. That's a good thing I know about this road now. Next time I'll probably take it again. Oh yeah. It's definitely. Definitely. I'll put the hammer down towards the border. See how good they are to me today up 
without the border. Here we go guys, we have just entered New York State. Luckily they did not give me a hard time here at the border today. I had to go inside though, I did. But that was not bad. It was a very short and sweet end deal there. Only took me about 10 minutes the whole spiel crossing the border today. And that is actually a very short time considering I had to go see agricultural. Then uh, sometimes, at least in Pamina, I know in North Dakota there, they make you back into the dock and they inspect everything and they didn't do that here. So that was my bonus. So we should be able to make our delivery for four o'clock. Like this back said, they are going to wait there till four o'clock. So if nothing goes wrong, if the traffic and everything is good, then I should be able to make it there for four o'clock, I think. I think at least. We got about 45 miles to go. And I got uh, three o'clock Eastern time right now. Two o'clock Central time, so. Turn left in 0.2 miles. All right, so we want to take this exit over here. I don't know why they make me cross over here anyways. Like, this was 87 and I'm going to Vermont. Like, Vermont just a little bit east of here. Why wouldn't they just make me go across over there? Turn left you know? on military trail, US right, 11. This is a bit weird the way they got the construction set up over here. I don't want to hit these guys up here. I have to be careful. Alright. Okay, made that happen. Alrighty, guys, we'll go down the road and see what the day will have in stock for us. Hopefully, you are joining me on my today's journey. No, this is what happens when you are in a hurry. I'm trying to get down to my delivery place and it is frustrating me. <laughs> These guys are slowing me down. I want to get down to my delivery place. <laughs> And I'm doing like 11 miles an hour right now. <laughs> I'm always speeding up. They're painting the roads up here. Yeah, Moldy County up here or what? Almost looks like. Anyways. Looks like we got some kind of lake or something up there, so. Looks In like 700 feet, turn left on Lake Street. Stopping US traffic 11. up there as well, so people can't. Uh, drive on the paint stripe there because you don't want the wet paint to be disappearing right away I guess you know but yeah well, it's looking kind of funny but let's see what this guy says All right. it's not saying anything so I guess we can continue once the traffic lets us Okay, that truck wants to go down that way, so we are going to attempt not to hit that yellow line. There we go. We did a good job on it. There we go. Holy moly! Look at them big boats up there. Oh wow. Well, I don't know big boats, but yeah, they look fairly big. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera, but my god, this is gorgeous. In one mile, turn right I love on bridge to road, live close US by two. the lake like this, man. Holy smokes. I'm going to try and show you these boats up here. Looks like sailboats up here, you know. Holy moly. Must be good fishing up here. Oh, yeah. This would be awesome to live close by the water like this. I don't know about winter time, but summer time would probably be great. I bet you a boat like that would be a few pennies though. I can't even afford a regular boat, never mind a sailboat like that. Yeah, well, they got one uh, way up here too. Well, actually looks like two. 
Yeah, that almost looks like two. Yeah, they got a fairly big one there too, eh? Oh, wow. Oh, it looks even bigger when you... Oh, there's another one right here. Wow. <laughs> this would be having land for me, I'm telling you guys. Wow. No idea what this uh, town is called, but I know it's gorgeous, that's for sure. Oh, they even got the Canadian flag up here. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy now. You made my day. You're willing to, f to have both of the flags up, Canadian and U.S. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you, America. That is just awesome. Anyways, let's get out of here. Hope we can make our delivery. That's what is on my mind. Let's just take a look what we got up here. We got four county mounties up here. Let's see what they want. I don't know. Let's have a look. You haul it. Got grass seeds. Grass seeds. Thank you. Checking for. That's interesting. Sitting right here across the bridge. Beats me. I have no idea what they're doing. They just asked me what I was hauling, and that's it. Look at this. We're going to go over the lake now, I guess. Guys, we are in some very good scenery area. Crossing border, entering Vermont. Yes, we are entering Vermont. You guys remember a couple of days ago I had a Vermont video? Here we go again. <laughs> Except we're coming into Vermont a little different than we did last week, so uh, I mean. This is just absolutely breathtaking, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, it is beautiful. Wouldn't that be lovely? Go right on there with a car or a motorcycle. Enjoy the beautiful lake. Oh, there's somebody fishing up here. A little bit of a boat up here. Fishing. See, they're not wearing any life jackets. the way it goes enjoy life while you can I suppose just look at the places that we have to go to to deliver our loads isn't it gorgeous or what oh middle of nowhere in, uh, in Vermont you know we got about 1.7 miles to our delivery behind me that day is gonna come